these are the three best void builds to use in Legend Onslaught or Onslaught in general. I'll be going over why you should be using them, what they can offer, and how they can make Onslaught mode a breeze for you. If you want to use the specific builds how they are now, then they'll be available in the comment section with a dim link attached to them. This is an instant process and will save you a ton of time. If any of the builds or tips help you, please consider subscribing as we have just reached 4,400 subscribers and will soon reach 5k, which will be awesome. Starting off with my absolute favourite to use when playing in Grandmasters, Dungeons or Raids is the Hunter. More specifically, the Orpheus Riggs Hunter. This is the main go-to build when you want complete area control, major debuff supply to targets, and a consistent sort of getting your abilities back, and running this in Onslaught Legend mode will be a lifesaver. The given as a trait called Uncanny Average provides ability energy for each terror target by deadfall, which basically means while deadfall is active, you will not only get back ability energy per kill mate, but also get a 50% super energy on top of that as well. From this ultimately, with the amount of enemies spawning, you'll get the other 50% back from kills made, and overall will have a super up and ready within seconds. To complement the chaos, I chose to have Dragon's Breath with its ability to create scorch and ignitions in one blast, which is going to be great for taking out terrored enemies and also locking down key choke points. And then having Riptide with Chill Clip will be useful against the major threats and champions you'll face. The main primary will vary from players, although I found the new recluse with Feeding Frenzy to be nice, but honestly, any void weapons are fine to pick here. For what I was running, I had Scatter Grenade for a short cooldown. A vanishing step for going invisible when you dodge. Stylus Executioner, where any time you finish a volatile, weaken or suppress enemy, we get invis. Echo of Harvest, where defeating weakened targets creates orbs of power and void breach. Echo of Starvation, where picking up void breach or orbs of power grants devour. Echo of Instability, where defeating targets grants volatile rounds. And Echo of Explosion, where void ability thunder blows cause targets to explode, which pairs very well with Deadfall and a grenade of choice. Our next build is designed around ad clearing galore and creating a wide number of chain reactions that prevent enemies from progressing anywhere near the objectives. For this, I've chosen UG Dryer Falcon Harbuck Azotic with his unique effect called See Me, Feel Me, which states that your avoid weapons gain volatile rounds after you emerge from being invisible. When you are invisible and you defeat a combatant while using the finisher, all your weapons gain bonus damage, you and your nearby allies gain a reserve overshield and improve class ability regeneration. These reserve overshields can be deployed by using a class ability. The exotic goes quite crazy when paired with the tether super, as the volatile hits applied to the enemies will spread and cause even more damage to those afflicted by the debuffs. Not only that, but applying stylus executioner with Jarl Falcon is where the build is able to spread the volatile rounds debuff consistently, since the debuff effect will add veil invis, trigger the effect, and restart the process again and again. Basically, infinite volatile rounds on hand. Now pairing this with Graviton Lance is where the build will truly shine, since Graviton Lance's final blows will spread volatile detonations onto other enemies caught by the after effects. It's basically a build that will keep on spreading its effects as long as enough enemies are caught by it, with how bunched up they are. And you can get a whole bunch of orbs, super and kills from this just alone. Playing it safe, I then added the Riptide Fusion with Chill Clip to help with the champions and bosses. And then having Retrofit Escape Aid with Volatile Rounds and 4th times the Charm makes it a beast to use when against bosses or mini bosses alike. Although, any Void Machine Gun is fine to use here. With that, I then chose to have Water Grenades for their long duration and damage they apply over time. The aspects I've chosen we have Vanishing Step that grants Invis on Dodge. Stylus Executioner, where any time we finish a volatile, weaken or suppress enemy, we get invis. Fragments are Echo Obscurity, which will grant us invis upon doing a finisher, which will build back into our Gyro Falcon effect. Echo Starvation, where picking up a Void Breach or Orbs of Power grants Devour, which will help with surviving longer fights. Echo Persistent increases the Void Buff supply to you, such as a longer invis. And then Echo Render increases the Void Duration based grenade, so Vortex grenades will have a 50% increase. And this is quite honestly one of the simplest but fair builds to use that don't require a lot of work. However, with its strength, it can easily clear out goots with little effort shown. Our last build is one that can play into many roles and have any sort of weapon applied to it, as long as it matches the given subclass. If used correctly, it can provide a nice times 4 weapon buff for the user for a very long time, 
and all you need to achieve this is to use Foe Tracer. Now Foe Tracer was once limited to only being useful in PvP, but after a recent change it can now play effectively in both PvE and PvP, as an exalted trait, Relentless Tracker states that the damaging a target with an ability grants temporary bonus weapon damage matching your subclass type. Defeating said enemy while the effect is active will drop an element of pickup as well. The build will consist of gathering your abilities back fast through simple means, and using this to highly enhance the weapon damage when required too. The great thing about the exotic is how you don't need a lot to trigger its effects, and getting an element of pickup to drop for us will allow our mods such as Charge Stop and Element of Charge to push our build together to gather more armor charges as we see fit, and then we can use this to carry on and build into the Stylus Executioner and Echo Starvation effects as well. Basically, the build will keep the user alive while also getting a huge damage boost all for nothing. So for weapons, I decided to go with the Fighting Lion, as it has great potential with a sort of build like this. Although it is slow to reload, its damage and AoE is generally good for a grenade launcher, and it does consistently get stronger the more kills you do net. And since it's also a primary weapon, it means you don't need to ever worry about getting ammo back. However, depending on the difficulty you do choose, Gravital Lance or even the Monarch are also a good replacement as well. Now, I pair this with Echo Instability or Deadfall Tether, and you get a pretty nice ad clearing weapon. After that, I then went with the Buzzard with Kinetic Tremors, as it's both fast to use, and Kinetic Tremors on the sidearm is actually pretty good to use when compared to a Fusion Rifle. Then, lastly, we had the Commemoration for its big magazine and reserves on hand. For what I ran with, I had the scatter grenades for the long duration, although any grenades is fine here. Then having Vanishing Step will grant us invisible and dodging, a status executioner where anytime we finish a volatile, weaken or suppress enemy, we get invis. A fragments we had Echo Explosion, where void ability final blows cause target to explode. Echo Starvation where picking up a void breach of orbs of power grants devour, which will help with surviving longer fights. Echo Instability, where defeating targets with Void Grenades grant volatile rounds, and Echo Persistent, which increases the Void buffs applied to you, such as longer invis. And so, there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then do leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great to share today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.